Hello, welcome to our lesson on picture sequences. So in this lesson, we're going to describe a picture sequence using a table of results and the nth term. So we'll begin with this picture sequence of triangles, which are made up of six. You can see in pattern number one, which is here, we have one triangle with three sticks. So we have three. Now in pattern number two, we have the original pattern number one here with two more sticks. So we have a three out of a two, which is five. Pattern number three, we have pattern number two here, plus the two more, so now we have seven sticks. And pattern number four, we have pattern number three here, plus the two more, so we have nine sticks. And we can see a pattern where we are adding two every time. So because we're adding two every time, we know that the fifth pattern will have 11 sticks and the sixth pattern will have 13. So for part B, we're going to describe a picture sequence using the nth term. And we're going to call the pattern number n. So for instance, the second pattern number is when n is equal to two. The fifth pattern number is when n is equal to five. So n is our variable. So to create a formula that will go from a pattern number n to the number of sticks, we need to consider the difference between each term, and we know this is 2. So we're going to use the 2 times tables, because this also goes up in 2s. So we're going to have 2, and then 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So what we're doing now is we're multiplying the pattern number n by 2. And we write this algebraically as 2n. And then from a 2 to get to the 3, we have to add 1. From a 4 to a 5, we have to add 1. From a 12 to a 13, again, we have to add 1. So our nth term is 2n add 1. And this is a formula that will help us work out the number of sticks for any pattern number. For part c, how many sticks will there be in pattern number 18? Well, we can use our formula now. We can say that n is equal to 18, and we'll substitute this value of n into our formula. So we have two lots of n add 1. We'll substitute in n equals 18. So two lots of 18 add 1. 2 18s is 36, and 36 add 1 is 37. So our 18th pattern will have 37 sticks. And for part d, can a pattern ever have 21 sticks? Well, can our sequence 2n add 1 ever equal 21 for an integer, a whole number of n? Well, we can find this out by solving the equation. So we'll take away 1 from both sides. And these will cancel. So we have 2n is equal to 20. We'll divide both sides by 2. So n will equal to 10. So yes, our 10th sequence will have 21 sticks. Okay, let's try the next question. So here we have another pattern sequence made up of circles and their intersections. Do you want to try and complete the table of results yourself and then work through questions B, C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back. So we can see that pattern number one have no intersections. Pattern number two has two intersections, one here and one here. Pattern three, we've got the previous set plus two more, so four. And pattern number four, we've got the previous lot of four plus another two, so we have six. And now we can see our pattern is going up by two every time. So we'll add the two to the six and we get and our sixth pattern will have 10. So to work out the nth term in part b, because it's going up by two every time, again, we'll use the two times tables. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. We'll call our pattern number n. So we have n, our pattern number. We're multiplying it by two. We write this again as two n. 
And now how do we go from 2 to 0, from a 4 to a 2 and a 6 to a 4 and so on? Well, we take away the 2. So our formula is we have 2n and then we take away 2. So 2n take away 2. For part C, how many intersections will there be in pattern number 24? So now we'll say that n is equal to 24. We'll have 2 lots of 24 minus 2. Well, 48 minus 2 is 46. So in our 24th pattern, there will be 46 intersections. And for part D, can a pattern ever have 19 intersections? Well, this means can our formula 2n minus 2 ever equal 19? We can solve this equation by adding 2 to both sides. So 2n is equal to 21. We'll divide both sides by 2. So n is equal to 10.5. So no, because this would fall between the 10th and the 11th pattern. Okay, let's try one more question. So here we have our final picture sequence. And we have the blue circles around the perimeter of a green square. Do you want to try and complete the question yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back. We can see that in our first pattern, we have two circles at the top, two below, and one on either side. So we have six in total. And for pattern number two, we've got four on top, four below it, again one either side, so we have 10. For pattern number three, 14, for, for number 4, 18, 22, and then 26. For part B, to work out the nth term, we need another common difference, which is add 4 every time. So we're going to use 4 times tables. So we have n, our pattern number. We're multiplying this by 4 to make 4n. And then to go from 4 to 6, we have to add 2. From 8 to 10, again, we add 2. So our nth term is 4n add 2. How many circles will there be in pattern number 20? So we'll say that n is equal to 20. We'll substitute this into our formula. So we have 4 lots of 20 plus 2. 4 lots of 20 is 80, add the 2. So we'll have 82 circles in our 20th pattern. And for part D, can a pattern ever have 28 circles? So can, so can 4n add 2 ever equal 28? Well, we'll solve the equation by taking away 2 from both sides. So 4n is equal to 26. We'll divide both by 4, and n is 6.5. So again, no because it would fall between the 6th and the 7th pattern. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.